So the Indiana Pacers have hired Rick Carlisle as head coach. And we can start with the hire for the Pacers. And if you're a Pacers fan, you should be at least relieved because I believe I saw a report saying that they were windling it down to like Steve Clifford and Terry Stotts to be their next head coach. And I remember thinking, oh, these Pacers are going to be this mediocre team for years to come. So at least Rick Carlisle... He's better than those guys, without a doubt, at least to me. But his fit with this team, I don't know about it. I mean, I think Rick Carlisle, he's a guy that if you have an NBA championship ready team, it makes sense to hire him. So that's what I was saying for the Bucks. I might want to see Boone and Olsen get replaced with him. And I'm confused as to why he didn't wait to see if a job like that opens up. Because I would think that he would want a title running team, maybe getting more more control over there with Indiana. Maybe that's part of the deal. That'll come out later. Four years for $29 million is definitely a good amount of cheese for him. But basketball-wise, it's a little confusing to me. Maybe Pacers fans feel like, with the right coach, we could be a contending team. But I personally, I'm not a believer. I mean, Saboner, he's nice. But I don't think he's a guy... Personally, that's going to be taking over playoff series and dominating. I like the Brogdonian Zaboner combo, but again, I think the ceiling for this team, even if Karis LeVert gets acclimated and Rick Carlisle gets a nice fit together, nice glue with Miley Turner, Miles Turner, who I also think is overrated. I think the numbers say he's amazing defensively, but the eye test says eh, he's I, he's I. And basically what I'm saying is, if everything comes together perfectly, I feel like they're a second round exit. I don't see their ceiling being that high. Personally, I was saying, if I'm the Pacers, I'm blowing it up. I'm putting an atomic bomb on this team. And I'm usually not the one saying, blow it up. Because, you know, I think people do say that too much. And then you go to blow it up and then the team is trash for another 10 years. But with the Pacers, I just feel like these players have so much value, like, People would give a lot, give up a lot for Saboner. People would give up a lot for Miles Turner. And I just don't think those guys are as great as their value are, is. I'm sorry. So basically my point is, this Pacers team, to me, is not a team ready to contend. They have a lot of talent, so it's not out of the realm of possibility. We thought early in the season they got off to a hot start. Maybe they could be a sleeper team. But personally, I just can't see them overcoming the Nets team whenever they come back looking like the Bucks, teams like that, even the Sixers probably. It's just, I don't see this team having that type of potential. And Rick Carlisle, to me, he's a coach that, he's great for a team that's on the precipice, but for a younger team that's trying to build up something, you know, with the Mavericks, he hasn't gone out the first round since that title, I believe. And with Luka, there was, you know, reports that they didn't have a very good relationship, so... It's question. He has a, he's had a lot of questionable relationships with players throughout his career. So it'll be interesting to see how he's able to build up not a super young team, but a team that really hasn't gone anywhere and needs to be built up. So personally, I don't know about the fit. And as a Bucks fan, I'm a little salty that we're not going to have him as an option if Budenholzer needs to go. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.